What's good, people? Right back at you. Uh, let's just say me and this tank have been going through some BS over the past six months, and there's been some real BS. As some remember, earlier this year, I went through the Javel pump malfunctioning, and or it dosed a half bottle of alkalinity in my tank in about a week. So, needless to say, I lost a lot of stuff then. Uh, a lot of stuff got burned. Um, alkalinity was around 19. And it took me a while to get that down. So, right after that, I looked in the tank. Saw some weeds. Thought it was algae here. Nope, it was bryopsis. Well... I took care of the bryopsis, got that all squared away, taken care of, you know, dosed the tank with the flucanazone, mm, got that squared away, got that taken care of, and I broke out with something else. A few friends and I thought it was diet times, so they would, you know, give me the best advice they can give me, you know, dose the tank with peroxide. So I dosed it with peroxide for two weeks. Didn't really see much of a change. Let me tell you what my clown ass did. I did a water change. Well, let's just say that water change was probably one of the worst things I could have done. Because I started seeing all the brown stuff all over my coals. And could not figure out what the hell was going on. So, I did a little more research. Went online. Some people were saying there was diet times. Some people were saying it was dino. So, me being me, I went with the worst case, the worst case scenario. I said, this doesn't look like it's diatoms. Because it had long stringy brown soot with bubbles on the end. So I said, this is diatoms. So I dosed peroxide again for about a good two weeks. Nothing, no change. I was avoiding blacking the tank out as long as I could. So what I did was I blacked the tank out for two for three days. As recommended. So unwrapped the tank. And those, you know, the sand bed was clear. It was like a one little brown patch in the corner. Didn't pay it no mind. I'm like, okay. The coral had had a little residue on it. So I left that on there. Then I uh, turkey based the rock, the coral and everything. About a week later, Diet Times came back. I should have took the advice of my boy Darren Novi. Leave it wrapped for a couple more days. Don't unwrap it. Just leave it wrapped for a couple more days and to make sure it's dead. Well, I didn't do that. Needless to say, I took a heavy loss. <laughs> Over the past four to five months, no, three months, I could not get rid of this shit. And here's my loss. Yes, all of that shit right there I lost. <laughs> Even the damn ring. Excuse me. I will never, I curse myself. Even the damn MP40. That damn power hit the, uh, the west side dial. So I just gotta order another one of those. But I don't wanna put that back on there. But last time I left y'all, I don't think y'all knew I only had one, one of the uh, XF250s. Jerry's, but now I have to, and you know, since I'm having an SPS dominant tank, you really can't never go wrong with enough flow. So I figure I'll probably put the two MP40s on the back. But for right now, I'm gonna let it go until I order those. But let's just say I, I took a hell of a loss. Um, last week I covered the tank for five days. I covered it one night, Sunday, looking at football. I, I just covered it and left it. Did I say five days? 
No, let's say six. I took it off uh, that Saturday morning. I unwrapped the tank. And a lot of stuff that was dying off is actually coming back. That died off. It, it, that died off actually from the uh, alkalinity swing. And then the die times. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the dyno. It was covered. The whole thing was covered. But now it's growing back. Uh, IRA chips. That took a major hit. That's. You can still see polyps on some of it. I'm kind of hesitant to go in and just start cutting it off, but I might just leave it for now. And all these little frags on here, all this stuff was covered with dying times, but none of it was really affected. Only a couple frags were affected. As you see, you really can't see, but probably about like four or five frags only were, were affected. But most of them are coming back now. Uh, a lot of my Akins were. You can see the two that are shriveled up. They've been like that for about a good. The two green ones. They've been like that for about a good week. Hopefully they rebound back. Um, this is my meteor shower. Took a major hit. You couldn't see nothing. Actually, and that's that's growing back. You can see some of the colors coming back in there. That's a mother pearl and a W of Walt Disney. The mother pearl took a hit. It was, it didn't even have much of the blue in it. It was all green, all where the blue was at. It was basically just covered. So that's making a comeback. This shit right here is Jason Fox Cool Champagne. That damn thing, you could probably shoot it and it will grow right back the same way. I forgot the name of that coral right there, but as you see those two right there, one was a pink lemonade. I forget the name of the other one, but uh, they both were covered too, but they're making a comeback also. Um, let's just say my battle with the, the dino, it was a rough one. It was to the point that I was ready to give up. I was getting ready to tear the tank down and just start all over. Bleach all the rock, cut all the coral off, and throw all the coral away, and just start all over. But I'm glad I didn't. But now my tank is kind of bare. If you, you if you're used to seeing this tank, it's it's pretty bare right now. Since I lost at least 30 pieces out of it between the the out spike and. The, Basically, the uh, the dino, the dino, the dino did more damage actually than the house fight. The dino was just just covering everything. I mean, I'm gonna knock on wood and hope that the dino don't come back. Cause I read some cases that it does come back. But I figured after five, five or six days being covered, that that should that should have killed anything that was living. So I'm gonna knock on wood and hope that it doesn't come back. But that's my story of what I've been dealing with, and let's just hope that that stage of the tank is over with. And I don't have to deal with that anymore. So, this concludes my video this time. Talk to you guys later. Peace.